All right, welcome back to the uh, 1650 project. Uh, I spent some time at it here yesterday uh, off camera. I got the uh, footwells off and we'll have a look at them over here. Um, one of them isn't too bad, which is this one. But this is all rotten, I'll show you. You can see there. She's pretty rotten. It's just on that edge. But even underneath it's pretty ugly. So it's probably fixable. But I will look for another one. Um, I'm not sure how expensive they are. The short one is off this side because it's got this pedal here. And uh, we got the steering wheel off, sort of. That's the uh, hub for it right there. Um, yeah, you can see here, I ground it right down to where the shaft is, and it still is just seized on there. And we mushroomed it too, so. Their steering shaft is now junk, which is no big deal. I think I can find another one of those too. I have a couple, well I shouldn't have a couple, but I have one parts tractor, 12, I'm not sure if it's the same length or not. Uh, we'll look into that and uh, carry on. This here is pretty rough too. It's cracked uh, here and it's busted up here too. So we'll have to look for one of those. We'll have to look for that center section that's over there that goes right here. And uh, yeah, a few other things. The list is getting longer of parts to add. For right now, we got to start working on. Actually, I'm not going to start working on the hood and fender yet. Like I said in the last video, I'm going to take the fender and the and the hood or the hood and the fender and try to get those stickers we produced. Because like I might have mentioned in another video. These ones I bought aren't exactly right. The writing on them is um, like the old style Massey. And I don't like it. This here is fine. I bought this from a different place. These here, eh, I don't really like it. Um, I know it's just a garden tractor, but I mean, if I'm going through all the trouble to rebuild it like new, I might as well put the right stickers on it, I think. So, we'll do that, but for now we can get started on removing the rust and paint from that grill piece that I took apart off camera, and these two floorboards, even if we're not sure if we're going to save that one or not, we'll still take the rust and paint off it. Uh, what else? I did take out all the grill meshes there too, it's kind of junky, so well, hopefully we can find something to replace that too. So. Anyway guys, we'll get started on removing the paint and rust and whatnot, and uh, we'll have a look see how we're going to do that. Let's have a look see what we got here. As you can see down in there, our grill is sitting there. We got an anode on this side, and an anode on that side. Uh, we cleaned off a little bit of metal there, you can kind of see it through the water. 
just for a better connection. And uh, yeah, we got the cables on inside. We have our battery charger and a battery, but it doesn't really seem to be pulling very many amps. The battery charger is kind of junk, I think, which sucks. Because it's a pretty expensive battery charger. It's supposed to be manual, but it doesn't seem to work. at all so we'll leave it like that for a while usually that meter doesn't really say anything but it still does stuff so we'll see how that goes and if that doesn't work we'll try a different uh, battery charger on it but the battery's just there to pit like so it picks up that there's something there even though it's manual it seems to help I don't really see any bubbles starting yet but we'll give it a little while and see what happens still got the electrolysis going here I tried that battery charger on it but that's too smart uh, this one here seems to be working alright I put a different battery on it we'll just take a look here not too much progress not what I'd like to see, but the water is definitely getting uh, more rust colored, so <sighs> I guess it's doing something, but uh, really need to upgrade the battery charger, I think. Well, I kind of gave up on the electrolysis for that uh, rust removal and paint removal and stuff, but um, I got some small parts in this little Tupperware container, just some nuts and bolts and stuff, and some of the seat parts, and I put it, uh, I put white vinegar in it. I've seen a few videos there on YouTube that that works for rust removal, and it's starting to work on some of it. It's been there for a couple days, but you can see like there's still rust on it but I don't imagine it's like a fast process so we'll leave that in there for maybe a couple more days and see how that goes I will say though I did have some success using this little power supply it's actually uh, <clears throat> 10 amp I believe if I could see 10 amp constant, 12 amp surge. So, allegedly it puts out 10 amps. Um, I just used a couple anodes in this here Tupperware container. I don't know if I videotaped it or not, but it seemed to work pretty good there. Not uh, great, but pretty good. <clears throat> but we'll try this vinegar anyway. <laughs> 